this is Sophie Lawson from Sophie Lawson. <laughs> Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from SophieLawson.com, and this is another click look video where we're going to look. Well, today we're going to go to art school. <laughs> we're going to the Shoujo Fashion Manga Art School, which would be quite fun, I think. And we're going to learn how to draw cool looks and characters in a Shoujo fashion style so little Monty the mouse is here with us today and he's going to be giving some little tips and stuff along the way I think but this is a click look video and I'm going to try and speed these up because somebody did say in one of the comments that these would be better if they're a bit shorter so let's try and do it a bit shorter today it says up here art technique slash drawing the number one fashion workshop for jo shoujo manga and then it's got it's going to be about the figure the face the look and the setting complete with 14 start to finish demonstrations for drawing a range of character types this would be quite fun i hope and it's by impact and i've never looked inside this book before it is a second hand book I think I got this for about £1.50 on eBay, which I think is pretty good. So, I really like her, straight away. I think she's quite cool. She's got a nice list. I like her fashion. This is, oh yeah, this is about fashion. This is going to be cool, because I love, I love fashion. So she's got a cool style. I don't normally like bloke characters, but he's quite cool kind of a persona -y vibe going on there persona she's nice yeah this is going to be fun i think so we've got two little girls dancing this one's by Erin floors how to draw cool looks and characters be nice this i think nice little outfits but no size <laughs> this was made in when was this made? 2009. 11, 11 years ago. It's quite it's getting on a bit now. Look at him look, little chibis. I like those dudes. So I think this will be quite good for Yeah, this is gonna be really good I think for if you're creating characters and you wanna come up with some ideas for clothes, I think this would be amazing. Because that happens quite a, t quite a lot. When I'm doing my little Sophies, sometimes I don't know what to wear. We have chapter one, tools and techniques. Chapter two, drawing bodies. Drawing heads and faces. Drawing clothes. Cool looks, step by step. And setting the scene, step by step. I think she's my favorite one. I like the colours as well, but that's, that's something I would wear, it's quite cool. Yeah, they're cool, cat. she's nice, pose. Nice shoes, I'm going to like this book. I hope it's got like accessories and stuff. We've got a little chibi going through it as well. Hey, look, <laughs> what's his face? Totoro, little Totoro. Yeah, cool styles. That's quite good. Look, they've they've drawn the desk instead of taking a photo. I like that. Tools and step techniques. Walking into an art store can be a bit overwhelming. So this is going to be just your basic tools. Oh, I love it. They've they've drawn they've drawn all of the tools in a really realistic style. This one, I've got that, that's the one I do my little draw days with. That's become my new favourite fine line actually. I use those as well, pentail little mechanical pencils. Kneaded erasers. Just going through all the little tools. Oh, I love that they've got a little chibi do there. That's quite, f oh look at this look. This is nice. 
we got line art. Yeah. Talking about line weight as well. That's cool. <laughs> look at him, look. Chibis are the funnest. You can have so much fun with little chibi characters. Oh, this, I like that character. Oh, I love the poses in this book. Adding colour. So it's got inking, adding a colour base, creating dimension and interest, and then adding the final details. That's cool. It also, look, it's got all the little colour palettes there. I think when I start really creating my own characters, digitally, I'm going to start doing that. Looks fun. Look at the pose. It's cool. Cause that's really hard to do, make the leg look like it's going backwards in space. They've done that good, I think. That's cool. Drawing bodies. I really like the artwork in this book. The difference between girls and boys. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'd love it if somebody made a an art book with transgender characters. Maybe I should do that one day. It's quite fun. Yeah, this is going to be quite interesting, I think. Reading that. This is, this is good, this. It's probably very basic anatomy. I've never really looked into anatomy. It's probably quite a good place to start I suppose little hands I've drawn so many hands something I noticed was that hands are very angular they're, they're not as round as you think they are it's quite weird that feet we like feet little toes that's quite cool yeah, basic shapes, look. It's always about the basic shapes. Hmm, they've got the, f they've got the foot as a, like a, a pair of thingies. That's quite weird. I like that. Little chibi. <laughs> That's cool. Look, I like that. Little naked chibi. This is cool, look. From gesture. Boing, boing, boing. Average body types. So you've got all your different body types. Little bit of gesturing. Yeah, they're cool poses. I feel alive. These are beautiful poses in here. Really nice drawings as well. They're very good at foreshortening. I like that. Oh look. Again, so much gesture in here. Action poses. That's a cool one. Hiya! Putting your poses in perspective. Perspective is my sort of, it's my biggest fear. I'm scared of it, so I avoid it, which isn't the best thing to do. Now we are moving on to drawing heads and faces. Drawing mouses. <laughs> drawing little mouses. This section covers what is perhaps the most heavily recognised facet of manga style art. Big eyes, expressive faces and simple features. Simple features, basic structures. So we've got the, uh, we've got the head here. We've got, got like a circle and then you build it up. <laughs> Starts out with a circle. Draw the face in the two thirds view. Oh, I like that. Like an alien. I'd love to meet a creature like that. It's 
very pretty. Yeah, they are a little bit like aliens. Just notice that. If you take away human's hair, we look like aliens. Eyes. I'm going to enjoy this. Eye shape and structure. Oh, this is cool. Lots of different eye types. I'd love to buy a book. I wonder if there was a book full of nothing but eyes. That would be amazing. I'm going to look for that. I'm going to write it down. A book full of eyes. Because I really want to practice drawing eyes so that I can put eyes on my little sofa. Mouse. That's nice. Noses. Ears. This is quite cool, this book. Facial expressions. I like it. I've seen this before in other books. Uh, you've got shy. Angry. Sad. And then you got mocking. What's good is you can analyse this and pull out bits, like start combining things and see what other people are doing as well. That's nice, little flowers in it. Add hair, the icing on the cake. Yeah, cool. Uh, reading it, this bit here, it says redheads. The colour palette, the colour palette for red, redheads includes auburn, red, orange, and everything in between. In a manga setting, red hair is often represented with a light grey tone, something with a fine grain. Interesting. A little types of reds there. She's pretty. I think she's my favourite on that page. Oh, beautiful hair. Long hair. Create the basic shape and build it up. Everything is all about basic shapes. And it's something I've noticed in my draw days. I'm still struggling to start with basic shapes. I've got this habit of um, going to, straight to the details. Got to be more mindful. Short hair. Oh, this is amazing. So many types of hair. Long hair. Short hair. Hair tied back. Curly and wavy hair. That's a funky style. Look at that look. That's cool. Drawing clothes. Here we go. Chapter 4. Whether characters have a full, colourful and fun wardrobe, or wear the same thing day after day, tends, tends to depend on the preferences of the artist drawing them. Hmm. In other words, your personality comes into the character. These characters that you draw are like mini little versions of of you. Oh, I love that. This is, I'm doing a course at the minute, SVS Learn, talking about fabric. Something she said with Fluffy is, the only thing you have to concentrate on is putting texture on the edges and in the shadow areas. So, yeah, that's what she's done here. They've only got the texture of the fur on the edges. And then the, the viewer can fill in the gaps, really. Stiff fabric. Fabric that drapes. Movement of fabrics. Oh, look at that, look. Beautiful shapes. I like that as well. I love that. I love the shapes of that thing. Beautiful shapes everywhere. 
I love this artist's style. It's very nice. I love that. I'm going to draw that. Yeah, these are cool. <laughs> Look at the little socks, look. Little details like that. The fact that one is pushed up and one's like that. I like that. A little bit of style. That's nice. Yeah, these are cool, these are. Shirts. Shirts with collars. I love that. Again, look at this. They've done the wrinkles on the dress. All they've done is just a little couple of scribbles. It's just enough to show you that it's got the folds on it. I like that. Oh, beautiful. There's a beautiful little outfit. Sweaters. Baggy sweatshirts. This is going to be a, a great book for like referencing. I love that outfit. Yeah, that's. Look at that hair as well. A cool character she is. Look again. One collar's pushed up, one's. And then it also goes like a diagonal. It's quite cool. Love that. Blazers. God, look at the um, the wrinkles on that one. That's quite amazing. That it's like shiny. It's nice as well. Trench coats. That's good. They're showing you basic shape first. Warm coats, quilted fabric, puffy fabric. This, so this course that I've been working for at the moment at SVS Learn is called How to Draw Dynamic Folds and Wrinkles with Sh Sharni Tenny. And I'm going to do a video about it soon because I've nearly finished it. But what I've noticed from this is it's it's mainly and it looks like it's going to be, until the very end, just mainly studying realistic folds and drawing realistic folds. But what I really wanted to do was draw stylized folds. And I'm thinking, this book is actually going to be the perfect book to look at after this course, because what they're doing is they're stylizing the folds. So it's, it's one of the thing, the only one of the only negatives with that course at the moment. I, I'm, I've got to wait to see what it's like, but the only negative seems that it's not going to go into stylizing. So this book would be perfect, I think, as a like combination with that course. I don't like the colours of that. I like the colours of that one. Yeah, I don't like the colours of that. Love the colours of that. I've thought about something else. So this is like a sort of a mind thing, but let's say purple. We might see we might all see purple different, but there's no way to prove that everybody sees purple the same. So let's say for instance Monty sees purple as I see red. So for him he's going to see red and yellow together but I'm seeing that purple and yellow together so for me I look at those colours and I think it doesn't look very nice but that person might be seeing them different <laughs> it's quite weird so when people wear clothes oh, I love this page when people wear clothes and you think those those colours just don't go well together it might be that they're actually seeing different colours a bit like sort of 
yeah, the weird, like, paradoxical thing. I love the... I love the... shininess. Look at that, look. You can, like, feel the... texture. It's really fun, this book. I like it a lot. Skirts. That's good that you see the body through the skirt. Short skirts and long skirts. Floaty skirts. Roughly skirts. Those little shoes there. I like those. Yeah, like, I'm just going to be studying these folds, I think. I love this. Frilly and formal dresses. What a cool character that is. I love those shoes. Hats. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Have fun with it. That's really fun, that is. Look at the shapes of these hats. Hats are fun. Gloves and mittens. This book reminds me a bit of a video game I played on the DS. It was called Style Savvy. I used to love that game. You owned a fashion shop. Scarves, socks and slippers. You ran a little fashion shop and you had to like dress all these characters up. It's brilliant. Sandals. Oh, a page of high heels. That's good as well, look. Showing you the foot. It's like showing you how the foot fits into the shoe. It's quite cool. Look at the shape of these shoes. Sexy shoes. They've got wellies. Look at that, look. All these shapes within the shapes. Like this. Purses and bags. This is just what I wanted, accessories. Umbrellas, little fun jewelry things. Oh, look at the style of that! I love that. That's really nice. They've actually perfected the plastic sort of. See-through plastic. Cool look, step by step. She's nice. This, there is really no way to tell you how to go about creating characters. Do, your do you design them first and then write a story to fit what you have drawn? Or do you come up with a history and create a picture to fit it? Maybe they just start as a random passing idea and before you know it, you're figuring out love interests and favorite colors. Whatever works for you, this section is about flashing out. I like that. Gosh, she's sexy. Queen of drama. Hey, look. It's got like a little statistics about her. Look at that pose. Oh, I love this. I love the outfit. Oh, look. She's nice. It goes right from the start. To the finished one. And it's got all your little colours there as well. Queen of Drama. Yeah, it's going to be like a little story about the character. A few lucky stars are just born to drama. I like that. She's even named her, like Susan Rachel Hartfield. 
<laughs> oh, I like that. Not so keen on that outfit. Well, I like, I love that outfit. And I like that she's only got socks on. You can feel the weight of that outfit. Relaxed roof. Making a good case for nature over nurture. Ruth Marone, Ruth Marone, the sportswoman. This is quite interesting, this. Because, yeah, this is how to create a character. I think I would come up with a little story first. Yeah, come up with a little story. And then... I like that outfit. I don't like the character, though. Happy go lucky. I reckon she is. I would call her Eliz Elizabeth or Ellie. She is called Michelle. Yeah, she does look like a Michelle. She was the happy go lucky. I would call her Cassandra or Lucy. She's called. Odessa James, the socialite. Odessa light. Odessa. 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 Love that outfit. Beautiful shapes. It's one of my favourites, this. Confidence. I bet she's got massive confidence. Oh, she's nice. She's my favourite. Girl next door. She's called... I would call her Claire. She's called Trey. Trey McKinney. Look how cute she looks, look. Like her nails. Little pointy nails. That is a beautiful character. Nice pose, and then it goes right through the little process thing. I think this would be something I could make a podcast about going through these. The Independent, I would call her Roseanne, Rebecca. Hmm, I like the trousers. Oh, I like her there. She looks quite cool there. I like the outfit. Not sure about the colours again. I wouldn't I would never put those two colours together, but it kind of works. But I still wouldn't do it. I'd make that pink. I like that character. <laughs> Good little blokey. Oh, I like a little cat. Well balanced. I'd call him Oliver. He's called Philip. Yeah, I've never really been into the blokey characters. The famed. I'd call him. I'd call him Alistair. Colin. Yeah. <laughs> It's quite fun guessing people's names. Pseudo Punk. He's probably called something like. What'd he be called, do you reckon? Pseudo Punk. William. March. It's called March. It's quite a cool name. The Solis. What's that? Solitary. The solitary. Call him Tim. Alistair. <laughs> I think I called him Alistair. Blue characters are just so much more boring to me. I don't know why. Girls are just more fun. Two friends. He's a nice look, little. Oh, 
I love doing art drawings. Look at that. Love that outfit. Yeah, look, little squiggles for the wrinkles. Love that outfit. Like the shoes. Two little friends, group of girls. I like her. Uh, like that outfit. I like them shoes as well. This artist is very good at coming up with shoes. It's be interesting to read. A group of guys. Look how much more. Actually, those those boys are alright. I think. Yeah, that's nice. The lovers. It's quite nice for Valentine's Day. Setting the scene step by step. Look at that look, little girl on her own. Settings and background. Perspective. Understand perspective. I need to. I've got a book somewhere. This one here. This book. I'm going to work through that this year. Well, it's all about perspective. Apparently, it's really good. Hey, look! It's made by the same people. That's quite cool. I like that because I've heard lots of good things about this book. So I'm going to start facing perspective this year, I think. It's quite good, this little book. Look at that look, it starts out like that. And it comes like that. It's amazing. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> the coffee shop. Use a photo reference. Bedroom chick. Look at her now, look. I like that. Oh, look at her little thing on the... Little characters. There's another one there. See, if I did a scene like that, I'd put a little PlayStation in there. <laughs> I'd hide a little PlayStation Vita on the floor. Oh, I like this book. Oh, look. Then he's had enough. And this is even good as well, look. Say you wanted to do some... You wanted to do an umbrella. Umbrella. Dresses. Yeah, you've even got expressions and stuff. I like that. And then what have we got here? Other books. Drawing Fairies, Manga Madness, ImpactBooks.com That was amazing! Did you like that, Monty? <laughs> you really liked that. That's one of my favourite books, I think. I didn't know what to expect from this, and because it was only £1.50, I wasn't expecting much, but it's amazing. I recommend this one. So I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you later for another one.